surfaces from Thailand showing the tsunami as it first slammed the coast of Phuket. There it is. It's amazing. A Thai man says the tape was shot by an Australian who has since left the country. Unbelievable. It shows people running for their lives, others surrounded by water, in the first moments of that disaster. There you can see it more dramatically there with the people in the background. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the U.S. ambassador says that a three-month deadline for foreign troops to withdraw is perfectly reasonable. For more on all of that, plus other aid work across the region, let's go li live now to NBC's Ned Colt in Gaul, Sri Lanka for us this morning. Hello, Ned. Good morning, Randy. While the uh, ambassador may be saying that survivors of the tsunamis in Indonesia are opposing the government demands that all foreign troops involved in the aid operation leave by the end of March. At least a half dozen countries have troops involved in the aid distribution and reconstruction in northern Sumatra. The largest contingent is U.S. with 13,000 Americans. Now, Indonesia is also saying it's going to reforest its northern coastline with mangroves. They're long considered a bulwark against flooding and erosion. Development usually means that mangrove swamps are filled in. They provide a natural filtering process of seawater. Now, the government says it will replant the coastline with 60,000 acres of mangroves to help protect it from the effects of another tsunami. And here in Sri Lanka, there's an infant boy here.